I'll just start this video with a minor trigger warning for bow use especially. Uh, what you may see here may be very depressing and make you very angry. So the topic of this video is what happens if you leave your bow strung or if you don't unstring your bow. Uh, we've talked about why you should unstring it but I guess people will wonder, well, what happens if you don't? Because a lot of people don't unstring their bows. And if you search up on Google, what happens if I don't unstring my bow, you get a pretty ambivalent response. Basically, nothing will happen. This isn't true, and I'm actually going to show you what happens if you leave your bow strung for a prolonged period of time. Now, this was not an intentional experiment. Uh, I've got a lot of bows, like a lot of bows, like 25 plus now, um, and I do leave them around in various states of uh, preparedness. Some are assembled, some are unstrung, and sometimes I leave bows lying around thinking I might shoot them, I might, I might make a, a video about them, and I leave them, I, I completely forget about them for several months. And unfortunately I found out that there are adverse effects if you don't take care of your equipment. Now, the actual effects of leaving your bow strung for months will depend on what kind of bow you use. If you're using a modern recurve or a recurve with limbs which are a fiberglass and wood laminate, it isn't actually such a bad thing because these limbs are actually made really well and they will retain their shape even after being strung for a long period of time. Firstly, starting with this, uh, this is the toe point unison, which I've put uh, chaser limbs on. Uh, the chaser limbs are carbon, no, they're fully carbon, and this sort of limb can be left without unstringing and there'd be no adverse effects. In fact, if we unstring it now, you'll see that the limbs are perfectly fine. They're curved as they should be, and uh, you can string, unstring this uh, without any problems. And if you leave this for several months, like I have, it's actually completely fine. Not saying that you should, but if you do, because you use it very often, then it's actually no problem with this. Same with this bow, uh, the Bows and Bow Horn Longbow version. Um, I've left this strung for several months as well. And uh, it's a longbow, so the limbs don't curve much anyway. And if you unstring it, same story should happen. Um, the limbs do retain their shape. So this is what it's meant to be. Again, okay, this is a carbon fiberglass and wood laminate. Uh, it works fine. Similar story with the Samic Sage. Um, I received the Samic Sage many years ago uh, as a review sample from Three Rivers Archery. And uh, I've been pretty bad with this bow. I've barely used it. I've left it strung for probably six to eight months in the back room where it's warm and cold. And it's completely fine. Um, the limbs have retained their shape. Um, there's no set. Um, and if we unstring it, again, we'll see that it's not a problem. They retain their strength. Um, again, this is a wood and fiberglass laminate, and it's fine. Now, if your bow is made from fiberglass, then you can get away with a lot more. Uh, this is the Mandarin Duck uh, uh, Ching style bow, and uh, while it looks quite fancy, it's actually fiberglass. Uh, quite a few of these cheap uh, horse bows or Asiatic bows are actually fiberglass bodies and limbs, uh, but they're wrapped with leather or snake skin to make it look very pretty. The tips or the sinews are wood, but the body is actually fiberglass. Um, I've left this strung for a long time, but again, fiberglass, this actually has no adverse effects on the bow. It's as good as it was when it first came. Uh, and yes, I know it's a funny shape, but it's meant to be this shape because when you string it, it does curve back on itself quite significantly. So when we get it fully strung, you can see that it's retained its shape really well. So I've left it in this configuration for, again, probably five plus months, and uh, it looks and works as well as it always has. So those were the modern uh, bows and materials, the carbon, fiberglass, carbon foam, wood core, um, all the laminate modern bows have retained their shape and function just well. Now, the real problem comes when you look at traditional bows, and especially bows which are made from one piece of wood or self bows. So all wood bows or traditionally uh, made bows of natural materials. So this is the Greyhawk English Longbow. Uh, you can get this from Three Rivers Archery. It costs around I think, 180 US dollars, so it's not expensive, not cheap either. Um, I've been really bad with this bow. I've taken it out a couple of times to do videos. It's a prop. 
uh, but I've left it strung in my back room in um, all weather conditions. Uh, there's been a bit of discoloration in the wood, unfortunately, so I kind of ruined it. Um, I haven't shot it yet, actually. That's really sad. But the most important thing is, well, watch when I unstring this. So notice the brace side, the curvature of the, uh, the limbs. When I unstring it, there's hardly any change. Um, the wood has set, and that's this is the lesson which I want to point out to all of you. If you are using a self bow, you really should be unstringing this when you are not using it. You don't want to leave this strung even for several hours, let alone several months. I've had this bow since March. I think I've taken it down a couple of times and put together for videos. Within the last video I did with this bow strung was probably four or five months ago. So this has been strung for around five months in a back room. And uh, you can see that the curvature is very pronounced. This was a straight stick. That's what these things come as. When you buy this straight from the shop, you take it from the, the box, this is completely straight and you can see that the limb has a curve that's set into it or bend um, this is not natural um, this shouldn't be this way and i remember when i first bought this um, bow like i remember having trouble stringing it um, i actually had to use the bow stringer to get the uh, string on the bow because you had to push it quite far to get the uh, string up but now i just put very minimal pressure and I can string it. Now the brace side is proper, that's what a long bow brace side is, it's very small, um, but the problem with the wood setting like this is that the limbs lose a lot of its power. This was a 40 to 45 pound bow, and look, it's still functional. I could pull it back and shoot it, um, and it still feels very stiff. So it feels like a proper long bow, let's put it that way. But I don't know, like the fact that the limbs have set in its shape, meant it's lost a lot of potential energy. A uh, bit of a shame, uh, I might still take it out for a shot and review it, but um, that's an expensive mistake. And that's because I've been careless, uh, I've left the bow strung when I shouldn't have, and all it takes is like a second to unstring it. So all I had to do was do that. You know, when I use it, string it, when I'm not using it, unstring it. I didn't even need the, uh, the bow string, but that's just a clumsy mistake and uh, I regret wasting a few hundred dollars on this sort of thing. And same with my Elven Ranger. Um, a lot of people actually like this bow. Uh, this is again from Three Rivers Archery. I bought this, so I wasn't sent this. Uh, this was a personal buy. Uh, it cost me about like 280 US dollars and a very similar story. So this isn't as bad. Uh, I didn't keep in the back room. This was left strung for several months. Completely forgot about it. I was gonna do some work in it, but yeah, completely forgot about it. Um, there is some curvature. You can see there, there is some curvature in the limb. Again, this started out as a perfectly straight limb or perfectly straight bow or bow stave. And you can see there is that curvature that wasn't there when I first got this. And again, I had a lot of trouble stringing this um, by hand. I had to use the bow stringer, but because the, the, uh, the wood is set, I don't have to push as far. I can just get it up there. And that's uh, the bow. And again, it works fine. I haven't shot it yet, but uh, we haven't lost much of its power because we didn't have as much set. It actually feels really nice now. Uh, I might have lost too much power there, but it feels really nice. I will have to review at some point. But um, yeah, like you don't want to um, ruin bows like this. This is a pretty bow. Shoots okay too, but what a shame it is that I've completely been um, absent-minded and left the bow strung when I shouldn't have. Uh, in comparison, uh, here's the Southwest Scorpion, which a lot of people liked. A very quiet long bow, very cheap and affordable as well. Uh, this is the shape that it came in. I've been quite good with this. Uh, this is a, a laminate bow, so it's not the same as the old wood uh, long bows. Um, I have left it strung a few times, but I normally unstring this, especially when transporting it, because I have to. Um, and that's kept its shape as it should. Slight recurve to it. Um, that's not because of set, it's because of the way it's designed. But this is a laminate bow, so this shouldn't um, distort much anyway. But that's what it should look like. And uh, this is a handmade uh, Molligabet bow, which was gifted to me. Um, so you can see that um, this is the, the, the shape and the 
uh, straight as it should come as. This was stored in the same conditions as the other longbows, especially the Greyhawk English longbow. But as you can see, there's no set. I haven't strung this. I've used it like once. I haven't used it since. I haven't strung it. And it's retained its shape completely fine. There's no set, no bend. Um, I could string this and shoot just fine with this. That's what it should be. So again, two bow staves um, stored in the same conditions for the same amount of time. Um, one which wasn't strung has retained its shape perfectly. The other one which has been less strung has a very significant set. And man, I don't know, I was so angry when I found out that I had the bows strung. It wasn't anyone's fault. It was my fault. I was cleaning out and uh, I was trying to avoid the heat. And I realized, oh crap. Um, yeah, I forgot about these. So, um, yeah, uh, lesson learned. Um, now you know why you should always unstring your bow. Um, in the previous videos, I've talked about convenience and safety and so on, but um, it does have a, some detrimental effects on your bow depending on what material it's made from. Again, if you're using a modern bow, then um, you can leave it strung and actually uh, work damage the limbs or cause the limbs to set is because the limbs are made from modern materials which are much more durable uh, if you're using a self bow like this one or an all wood bow uh, wood has memory it will set if left in the same position for a long period of time and uh, if you do leave it uh, strung it will cause the shape to bend and distort and that may cause you to lose performance so that's my lesson learned and hopefully you've learned something as well. This is New Sensei and I'll see you next time.